The group which plans to host a visit to Australia by controversial Dutch politician Gert Wilders is being accused of distributing anti-Islamic leaflets to letterboxes in Victoria. It's not the first time the Q Society has been accused of using letter drops to spread bigotry. Simon Lauder reports. In big red lettering, the leaflet warns, Save our schools! Be aware! The Australian government is preferencing and supporting Islamic faith history and culture in schools. Now this got my back up. I'm feeling that it's inflaming the general public and I don't think that's the right way to go. Mount Eliza resident Judy, who doesn't want her full name to be used, says the leaflet has been widely distributed in her neighbourhood and she's incensed. Oh, the flyer is definitely anti-Islamic. That's my impression. Because it says down further, when less than 3% of Australia's population is Muslim, why are we allowing... The Australian government to support this. The leaflet is the work of the Q Society, the same group which is arranging to bring the anti-Islam Dutch politician Gert Wilders to Australia. On its website, the Q Society says Australia should be based on Judeo-Christian values and what it calls the Islamisation of Australia is its call to arms. The leaflet targets a teaching resource called Learning from One Another, saying it's indoctrinating teachers about the virtues of Islam. The program was an initiative of the Centre of Islamic Studies at the University of Melbourne and was backed by the Australian Curriculum Studies Association. Both have told PM they don't want to comment on the leaflet, but they point out the program has been the subject of misguided attacks for years. Kesar Trad from the Australian Federation of Islamic Councils says the leaflet is typical of the Q Society. This is more than Islamophobic. This is agitating fear in Australia. Mr Trad says most Australians will dismiss the material. When our neighbours and our friends see this uh, disgusting leaflet, uh, uh, they will... Uh, right after ripping it up and throwing it into the bin, they will, they will realise that Q society uh, uh, is not a society that is acting in the interest of, Australian, uh, of the Australian community. It's not the first time Q society leaflets have raised the ire of residents and community leaders. Another leaflet rails against the halal food industry. The Deputy President of the Q Society, Debbie Robinson, says the group has been dropping leaflets in letterboxes nationwide. It's being distributed through Australia... In, in every state. Ms Robinson says education about Islam has no place in schools. Learning from one another and bringing Muslim perspectives into our classrooms just appears to be another initiative offering no alternative but to, to respect Islam as a religion. And as I mentioned before, Australian schools on the whole are secular in nature and, and trying to promote this interface understanding so that we understand the Muslim population, I would argue, will they be exposed to, you know, the Judeo-Christian roots of Australia? It, wa it wasn't actually funded by the Australian government, this program. It was funded by the Maya Foundation. Well, as far as I'm aware, um, the Australian Curriculum Students Association Incorporated was part of that. And, yeah, but, I mean, it, it's still being promoted in our government schools, whether it's funded by them or not, it's still being promoted in government-funded schools. Why is it that time and again residents interpret this as Islamophobia? I, I have no idea. I think the Islamophobic um, label is a way to shut down discussion. The Maya Foundation, which funded the Learning From One Another program, says it's proved highly popular with teachers across the country and the Maya Foundation is proud to be contributing to cultural harmony and education. Simon Lauder.